Hey Brian Young, so you were asking, you know, why do you, do you think the U.S. government was just using uh, the banking information or stimulus check in the form of a paper check as opposed to using uh, prepaid debit cards? So, what I think is, they wanted to bail out the banks. Uh, if you're not aware, the banks uh, have been running their reserves and uh, the government recently removed previous restrictions that came out of the 2008 um, Great uh, Recession. Uh, so they had certain reserve limits that needed to be done. Uh, since then, however, when this issue cropped up, they're like, eh, reserves, who needs them? So they want there to be fluidity and the more money that goes into people's bank accounts um, and also there's the inverse of unemployment to savings so when more people are unemployed more people save money um, this creates a type of reserve uh, that banks can then use for investing in the stock market or not collapsing um, yeah so basically um, that's why they want everything to go through the banks but with these new debit cards tied to a completely uh like it's not tied to any particular bank it does safeguard people who may experience a bank default or a bank failure but the bottom line is is that um this does offer uh, an alternative to uh working through banks but i think that the issue is far more complex than why they would want to do this. I could see this card if they actually. It's an. It, it costs more to do the card, and I think that um, this could off, offer advantages for tracking. So, um, if this issue were to be prolonged, or uh, say there's pandemic passports like immunity passports, or uh, tracking via RFID or Bluetooth or some type of chip in the card like if it's a chip card uh, that can also store information it also shows what is being paid for with the card and if the government were to release funding for essential goods then you know you can buy grocery items but you can't go out and buy an entertainment system so it would allow them to restrict um, what type of of payments like declining or authorizing certain expenditures um, it would allow them to control how stimulus funding was spent if they, in the future, restricted stimulus funding to specific types of uh, goods, medical goods, food, uh, water, or payment of specific bills. Um, it also removes the cash on hand issue. If people are getting out large amounts of cash um, or, and holding their own cash rather than trusting the banks. But um, I would want to look into the solvency of MetaBank. I'm guessing it, it handles the, the government's uh, funds. So since these funds are all coming from the government, then that could be a reason. I'm getting a pressure drop right now, so I'm hearing a hollow, I'm hearing hollow right now. So I'm gonna stop this, but um, yeah, there's lots of advantages to the cards, I agree. Um, but it's a lot easier to just transfer the funds directly to a bank account that's on file. Um, it's easy a solution, but the easiest solution after people not having bank accounts isn't to set up people's bank accounts as much as it is to set up a uh, non-bank account way that they can actually access uh, funds because, you know, it allows them to track it, but it's not actually opening up a bank account because in the U.S. you need to show ID and whatnot to set up a bank account. So it sidesteps the need for people to set up bank accounts to access the money, um, and they don't just want to give cash. Um, you know, mailing mailing cash I think is illegal. Is it illegal to mail ca uh, mail uh, cash in the mail? Um, nonetheless, <laughs> the other option, rather than the prepaid cards, would mail cash, and then people, as you said, they just be going running and taking the cash from people's uh, uh, mailboxes. So if it offers some type of security mechanism, tracking mechanism, um, and the electronic technology can actually be used very beneficially. So yeah, uh, that's, that's what I think it is.